In this specific video, we're going to be going over the step-by-step -step process that you need to take in order to set up a Shopify store in Australia. We'll be covering everything you need to know about this whole process to make sure that you make no mistakes along the way. We'll cover everything from specific regional differences to even rules, laws, and regulations that are in place inside of Australia itself. By the end of this video, you'll have a concise, clear idea of how to set up a Shopify store inside of Australia and the best way to go about doing that. Make sure to follow along completely and watch this video all the way through so you don't make any mistakes in the setup process and you can actually follow my guide and tutorial. First things first, let's talk about some of the key differences there are when it comes to building a Shopify store in Australia itself. One of the first things you need to consider is that all of the currency exchange is going to be done in the Australian dollar or AUD for short. The best way to go about configuring this is under settings, but we'll show you how to do that in the actual settings itself in the later part of this video. One of the other major considerations is the payment gateways. Always remember that there's going to be differences in the payment gateways that you're able to utilize and some countries might be different than others. One of the big benefits here though is that Australia's payment options aren't very different from anywhere else in the world. Things like Stripe, Afterpay, and a host of other specific payment gateways are all available in Australia and inside of its borders. When it comes to shipping, make sure to go with Australian Post or make sure to optimize for that specific carrier. That's going to be the main carrier inside of Australia and most people are familiar with them. It's also going to be very helpful to set up your shipping zones correctly, which we'll show you how to do. And also, of course, Shopify does provide a full tool suite for handling anything when it comes to shipping duties or customs. And of course, you should also be very familiar with Australian consumer law. These are basically any of the laws that govern the specific happenings and integrations and interactions that businesses have with consumers. Make sure to read up on those on Australia's government website. The same goes for any tax services and of course, privacy and data laws. Other than that though, this process is extremely easy and it's not that much different from building anywhere else outside of Australia. We're now gonna be walking you guys through a complete walk through tutorials so make sure you guys can follow along. One of the best ways to actually follow along is to actually hit the link down in the description to get started with Shopify. When you use our link down in the description of this video, you'll get access to a $1 trial for the first month that you're on Shopify. This is super helpful because it allows you to build and utilize Shopify in its full capacity without having to pay the actual monthly fee. Basically, you can get everything set up in the first month and even potentially start making money with your website before you even have to pay that monthly subscription. Once you click the link down in the description, you'll be taken to a page, it looks like this. All you simply have to do is enter in your email address and hit the start free trial button. Now, once you guys have entered in your email address and hit the start free trial button, it'll first ask you a few specific details about the things that you need to get started with when it comes to Shopify. The first of these is what best describes you. Are you just getting started or are you selling online or in person already? For the sake of this video, we're going to say that we're just getting started. Also keep in mind that you can also skip all of these if you would like to. One of the next things it'll ask you is what you would like to sell. We can say anything for this, but for now, we'll just go with the I'm not sure sure option. It'll then ask us what do you plan on selling first and we actually do have a sample clothing store here so we'll go ahead and say that we're selling print on demand products or we'll just say that we're selling products I buy or make myself. It'll then ask you to choose where your business will be located. Make sure to choose Australia. Once you've chosen Australia then you hit the next button. It'll then ask us to create a quick Shopify account to actually get started in the first place. We can either sign up with our email, our Apple account, Facebook or even Google. Once we've entered in our email and created a short password we'll then be able to actually to get started with building our Shopify store in the first place. As you can see, everything is filled out correctly and we can hit the create Shopify account button. And now just like that, we are inside of our Shopify store. Now, first things first, we wanna show you guys how to actually customize the website in the first place. In order to go about doing that, we're gonna head down to the online store portion down here where it says sales channels. Once we click the online store option, it'll then give us a few different things to choose from. We wanna head over to the themes option. Inside of the themes option, this is where we're gonna get access to all of Shopify's pre-built templates. The default template is the Dawn template, and we don't really need to change that for now because you can basically do everything you're gonna to wanna to do inside of that template. In order to actually make changes to this template and start editing the website itself, we're simply going to hit the Customize button. Once we hit the Customize button, this is inside of what we're gonna see. It'll ask us to enable our third-party cookies, and now we're officially inside of Shopify's website editor. Then basically simply either double-click on any of this or drag and drop any of this to edit it, change the position, or change what the text says. As you can see, if I wanna change any of this opening soon option here, I can click this, head over to the right where it says opening soon and start typing in this text box to make it say anything I would like. And it's basically as easy as that. If you want to select something to edit, you simply click it on the main screen here. And then on the right side, you can edit it with any of the settings that pop up after you've clicked it. Now that we've shown you how to actually edit the website itself, let's show you how to import products and actually get started with selling them in the first place. To import products into our Shopify store, we'll head up to the top left here where it says products. We'll click that. And once we click that, as you can see, we can either add our first product or import it. We're going to click the 
add product option. Once we click the add product option, we'll then enter a title for our product, which for this instance, we can just say that this is a t-shirt. Once we said that it's a t-shirt, we then can give it a short description if we'd like. Also potentially having a generate AI text option, which is super helpful. And once you've done that, it'll then give us an option to upload media, which is basically photos of the t-shirt or model pictures. Once we select the upload media option, we'll head over to our folders and select one of these model images wearing the shirt that we want to sell. As you can see, you can upload one photo or upload multiple photos. And again, I can keep adding them as time goes on. Once we've done all this, we'll then hit a pricing option and select how much we'd like to charge for this t-shirt. And then also we can say what the cost per item is, and we will even get a calculated profit and our margin. We can also track things like quantity by saying what our shop location is and how much inventory we have, as well as changing things like the weight and a host of other options down here in the meta fields for things like SEO optimization. Now, just a quick note here, just to show you guys how to actually add images onto your Shopify website in the first place, inside of the store editor, we're simply going to click any of these specific banner images, head over to the right here and select image. Once we select an image, we can add an image and then we can upload that image directly into this. Once we add that image in, we now will have a fully functioning banner image on our website that looks beautiful and is contextualized to our brand. And the rest is pretty simple to do. You can simply click on things to edit them or drag and drop them at your disposal. All of this is super easy to learn and very easy and intuitive to actually utilize. Once you've done all this, you can hit the save option and have your website go live and you can officially start selling on Shopify. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Let me know down in the comments below what you're going to do on your Shopify website. And also let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to use the link down in the description to get started with Shopify for only $1 for your first month. Also, please keep in mind that those are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from every sign up. So thank you in advance for supporting our channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos. And I'll see you guys in a future video.